In this video, we are discussing how to design your dream life, because the truth is, anything is possible when you put your mind to it. I'm Amanda Horvath, and I'm all about eliminating the obstacles to getting you standing where I'm standing right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you are ready to start that video show that you've been dreaming about, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Three years ago, I was a burned out service-based business owner that was finishing one client project only to immediately start on the next. And I felt frustrated by my reality of needing to do that. Well, today I'm an online based business owner that has an online course business, which was my dream at that time. And the way that I was able to make this transition and create the freedom that I was craving in my life was to first and foremost focus on what I actually wanted in life. And that's why in this video, I'm going to lay out the four steps that I took to design my dream life so you too can take ownership of the future that you want and start making forward progress to making it happen for yourself. Step one, know what you want. Ask yourself the question, if I had free time, what would I do with it? Surprisingly, this can be a lot harder to answer than you might think and that's because we're wrapped up in this hustle culture. So what I recommend doing in order to find your answer to this question, because really, you know, like I said, we're all gonna struggle with it. The first is to create a dream board and this, or a vision board. This is where you put tons of images together of what your life could potentially look like. Or you could create a vision video, which I will link to that exercise up in the cards. I did a previous video about that. And if you're more of a tactical person where you like going out and putting your hands on things, then you could do things like pop into the Lamborghini dealership and drive, test drive a car or get all nice and dressed up and walk into a Tiffany store and try on their most expensive diamonds, right? So whatever it is, just start pushing your comfort zone of what you think is possible for yourself because when you start doing this, you're going to start energetically attracting these things into your life and start gaining clarity on what it is that you actually want. Let's kick this off with imperfect action right now. Go on down to the comments section and put what was one thing, one thing only that you would do if you had free time today. Step two, define your timeline. At the beginning of every single year, I open up a journal, or I, I do this because it's on my computer, and I start journaling about where I wanna be in 10 years. What's life gonna look like in 10, in five, and three years? And the way I want you to think about this is you're running into someone at the airport and you're catching them up on all the things that you've just done over the last however many months and you're kind of building out this picture. What does it look like? What does it feel like? And every single time I do this exercise, it's challenging. It's not easy to think this big about your life and project forward where you wanna be, but that's the point. And the people that do this are the people that will actually achieve their goals because once again, they're getting more familiar with what it is that they actually want and they're putting it down on paper or on a computer screen and starting to say, yes, this is the life that I'm creating for myself and I am energetically going to start attracting this into my life. So that is step two, sit down and spend some time journaling and pushing through the resistance that you will feel in this exercise. Step three, embrace the law of attraction. All right, y'all, we're gonna get a little woo-woo on this one, but I can promise you that the people at the top of whatever industry you are in are doing this. So if you wanna be up there, you gotta get on board. So the law of attraction is learning to practice how you are going to feel when you get X, Y, and Z that you're looking to get. So the concept is, how can you feel that right now? So if you're trying to, you want to have security because you want to have a bank full of X, Y, and Z amount of money, or you want to have a house that is very comfortable or whatever it is, how can you feel that today and start tapping into those emotions today? So just spend a few minutes a day looking at your list and feeling the energy of what it's going to feel like when you accomplish that. 
One more quick note on that. If you ever find yourself getting into this down state where your mind just starts turning and all this self-doubt starts popping up, the trick in order to get back to feeling what you want to feel is to use gratitude. So you will always be have something to be grateful for in your life. If nothing else, you can be grateful for the fact that you have a house, that you have a bed, to <laughs> your pillow to lay your head down at night, that you have food to eat. Like think about the bare essential basics and express gratitude for those and that will immediately start getting you into a better headspace. Step four, start your journey. No matter what your dream life looks like, building a strong community of support behind you is going to put gas on the fire and speed your way up towards success. This is why I believe prioritizing building your online presence is the best first step that you can take. How do you do that? I've put together a three-day video workshop that is going to walk you through exactly what you need to do, how to get through the early ugly stages of when you're first getting started, all the way to finding this scalable online business idea that is going to set you up for long-term success and help you achieve the dream that you have. So go ahead and find that link in the description below and I'll see you there. So hopefully you have clarity on how to design your dream life. If this video is helpful, please be sure to click like, drop your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.